Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 10 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Just watching the balloon wind its way lazily across the sky. Ah, <sighs> haven't got time for this. <laughs> um, right. <clears throat> so, I know I say so quite a lot. I will try to avoid it. Field 15 is cleared of wheat. Uh, you might notice that the trailer has changed somewhat. It is still the Cramp Bandit 800, it's still the Kipper. Um, I took it into the workshop because I thought the one I had, and I love that design, it looked like the old kind of red barn sort of thing, like the hayloft at the top. Um, but it was only a 29,000 litre capacity, so I took it in to reconfigure it at my workshop, and it let me reconfigure it up to the 40. 45,000 litre capacity um, didn't charge me anything so yeah result so that's the last of it off the field 37,000 litres added to what I've got in here we're going to be up around 80 I suppose no maybe more than that we'll soon find out so we'll unload that while well, that's unloading uh, from Marwell Manor from the butler and from the the big man himself, we have got 20 brown chickens have been delivered. So we've got our 152 with a new one due in 30 minutes. Um, we have got 20 new ones that have come from Marwell Manor. Um, weirdly though, I've still got zero on eggs, no litres whatsoever, which is a bit peculiar. I don't know why that is, but anyway, it's not showing any eggs at the moment. I'm assuming at some point it will all sudden suddenly kick into gear they've got feed and their yeah, feed air is clean so I don't know what I was going to check that was it wasn't it just remembered um, we were going to check how much we've got 84,366 litres that's not bad uh, do I sell any of that yet or should I keep hold of it I'm not sure the price is going to climb from there. It might do, you never know. We'll leave it for the time being. We don't need to set it at, at this precise moment in time. So, now comes the interesting bit. Well, for me, it's got these things all over the place. Actually, while we're here, I bought it off the field and thought we needed to do repairs since it's been used quite heavily that's that repaired harvester how's that going to be looking do we reckon yeah it's alright could have been worse right we'll put those away yeah we'll do the trailer first Just stick this in here for the time being. Excellent. Right. I really should stop and have lunch. You know, not now. It's only eleven o'clock, but you know, I don't think I ever do. I don't think I ever sleep. I just go right the way through, don't I? Normally, do I need to feed the dog? Oh, I can never remember which button it is. L three. There we go. Where's delirious? Come on. Nice. Okay. So we are going to use. Now, I, this is complete coincidence, actually. I hadn't even considered this. The shooter marker. Uh, Rapide 580. Nice bit of machinery. Interestingly, the orange bit there matches up with the baked bean. Awesome. So. Loose straw. And we've got a fairly fast tractor. So, we're going fast and loose. Yeah, I know. Sounded better in my head. Never mind. Right, so we're going to start here. With the first of the spirals. 
you have to do a few trips. I'm curious to see how much we get off this. The Hayloft will only hold 250,000 litres. If we hit that, which I can't see that we will, but I suppose it's possible, um, then the rest will bail and we'll add to, to green energy solutions. So, let's turn this on. Right, we've got the bottom. Nice. Drop this down. Oh, there we go. Not quite sure why I put the lights in. So this holds 35,000 litres. I paid 20 grand extra for an extra 1,000 litres capacity. As you do. But I wanted this lovely mug. And I'd say, I, I kind of... You get used to using certain ones, and I think the... Uh, the, oh, which one was it? Oh, the Repex. Um, I used a lot on 17 and you know, various different ones. But there are some new ones on 19. So it's going to be nice to use something a bit different. And then we'll have to do hay again. The hay I'm probably going to do off screen though. Because again, once you've seen me use the loading wagon. Or once you've seen me making hay. Um, unless you're new to the this particular Let's Play. In which case I would suggest, and it's, it's just a suggestion go back to the start watch from the beginning it all makes far more sense if you do that great demand please tell me this is a great demand for wheat great demand at Greendale let's have a look no it would be barley wouldn't it <laughs> oh dear never mind yeah go back to the start watch from the beginning especially with the subscriber contracts I know even if you've watched from the beginning it can get complicated and trying to remember whose I've done and whose I haven't and who I'm talking about and you know, it's bad enough for me I can only imagine what it's like to be watching but um, I like doing it let's feel it quick I haven't even been around the field once nearly full there we go 35,000 litres. Try to avoid some of the larger bumps. I'm not getting this unloaded. Um, I did off screen whiz over to the new fields um, and just put some fertiliser down just to give me a better yield. I thought that would probably be a good idea. I need to unload this side down. There we go, going in. Right. I did have one of those mild panics. Um, I, I took... Um, was it Adrian's advice? I think it was Adrian, wasn't it? Um, who said about turning the growth off when you're doing seeding on a big field so you don't get that part and part. So I turned it off when I did that. I got kind of part way through doing the next load of stuff and suddenly thought I didn't put it back on again. <laughs> That would have sat for days not growing and I wouldn't have wondered I would have wondered why. Now I'm not sure when this is going to be posted, uh, because by the time this gets posted I will be on holiday. I'm up in the Lake District. Um, and hopefully, providing all still goes to plan, on Tuesday morning I'm going to be going to Rickaby, the class dealership, and doing my vlog. When that'll be posted, I'm not too sure because obviously I'll need to edit it and get it already it's not gonna be a live broadcast or anything like that um, and I will try and keep up with the videos as best I can while I'm away any mods that, that uh, come up the mod reviews if any mods do go live will probably be the following day I won't be able to do the mod reviews that day um, for obvious reasons um, so yeah I'll try my best but if you don't follow me on Twitter um, what I normally do while I'm away it's um, hashtag Mr. on tour and I will post pictures of various 
farming implements, tractors, machinery, anything I come across that I think or I find interesting, whether you will find interesting. It's entirely up to you, but anyway, that's what I do. So if you yeah, if you want to follow it on there, be my guest. See you. It's gonna take some time. I will see you later on with either a full hayloft or this field cleared, whichever comes first. So while all that excitement is going on, getting all the straw off of field 15, uh, we've picked up a contract on field 1 again for fertilising, which is for 10 grand. I've, I don't know if I've got enough actually fertiliser in here to do it. Hopefully, but we'll see. All the bales have gone off to green... Um, Oh, solutions. So my mind's gone. Don't worry. Energy is the word. Yeah, green energy solutions. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll stop talking now. Let's shift over a little bit. Turn that on. Not quite sure how far I need to be. Seems to be about right. I will see when it comes up, same with Mr. Load. We're still covering. Seems to be alright. Okay, all good, right. Same as I usually do once I get to a point where think I can let a worker loose. <laughs> we'll let a worker loose. Cool. Now where shall I turn the belt here? It's looking good. Don't want to waste too much but then I don't want to miss any either. I've gone a bit too far. Oh well.
what you want to do let's just turn it off for a second check on our map that's all right actually oh i found something i can do in cab blimey it's the armor track it must be it's a magical thing I think I'm done um, with what I've got well with what I've got in here I think I've got too much actually let's tip and see what happens yep that's it we're full the hay loft has 250,000 litres of hay in it not hay straw is a hay loft but it does have 250,000 litres of straw uh, the problem being now then, oh that's annoying, so 10,000 litres, okay what I'm going to do is take this and screw it back across the field, um, I'll open up and unload, now what have I done with the rest on the field, I think you can probably guess, I've bailed it, um, that will then go off to Green Energy Solutions, so far on that field there are 63 bales, with what I've got left in here, and I've got a little bit in the barn as well, I can do another 72. Um, you can see them all scattered across there. If I just put this on to speed up, and then unload. Like that. And then I'll grab the harvester, not the harvester, <laughs> the baler. Um, so that'll take me to, what do I reckon, 63 got some left in there as well probably another four bales so 67 so I'll need another five to make it up to 72 so I'll take five out the barn um, over there uh, and I'll put those over where the last lot were so that'll be another load for green energy solutions fantastic um, unfortunately at the moment all seems to be bailing um, I do need to do Battersby Farms potatoes over there I don't want to start something completely new um, the forestry will be forestry probably a couple of forestry episodes so i've got quite a bit of forestry to do so i don't want to start that part way through an episode oh that reminds me actually hang on um payment we finished the job on field one so let's collect that shall we fertilizing field two i could whiz over and do that as well i suppose um right so what i'm going to do first up to 161 let's actually you know what, rather than just leaving this by the side of the field let's put it away <clears throat> and um, the armor tracks over at the store because the fertilizer spread has almost run out so that's going to need some more fertilizer in it so to be fair the 10 gram we just made <clears throat> another 6400 is going to go on fertilizer where should I put this um, we are going to need to do loose hay again like I say I'm going to do that off screen I'm not going to do that um, on an episode because oh, that's filled up with fuel actually that's got to go so there can't be much fuel left in that surely um, so what I'm going to be doing next is going to be silage bales and we're going to do round silage bales I kind of mentioned it that we were going to do silage, round silage bales um, which means buying the baler wrapper because we're going to be doing quite a few and I've got some silage bale contracts plus we're going to need silage to start off with the cows once I've started them off with bales then I'm going to do loose silage um, but I think for the time being while I'm doing let's put that there yeah while I'm doing um, silage bales I might as well do enough I have got one contract for silage bales for 200 but again, I, because like the Green Energy Solutions one that was 750 bales, there's no way I can do that in one hit because of the bale limit. So I have to do it a bit at a time. That's the sensible way, really. Right, let's just pull this in here for the time being. So yeah, these bales here are for... They're kind of surplus in case of. These are the ones that were extra that came off of field 18 that weren't part of the 72 that sent off to green energy already so with what I've got on field 15 plus a few of these that'll be another 72 um, so 
happy with that right so store um, let's go cross country um, store new baler wrapper um, fill up the fertilizer I need to bail those last few bales there what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the new fields 13 and 14 um, and start baler, baling and wrapping silage bales over there we'll see what we end up with off that field and then we'll worry about um, well, you know, elsewhere I've got to be careful though because I'm going to need to shift the ones off field 15 first it all comes down to that bale count again you know the, the, the bale limit because I can't have too many on the map I know it's all baling I've got crops growing um, I'm thinking next episode let's get some potatoes done let's get Battersby's field cleared I think um, I think we'll probably while we're wandering over um, oh no it's not oh, I thought beets it's not beets it's potatoes because I thought the Holmers haven't had much of a look in since the Roper, Ropers came out the Holmers don't really get a chance so I was going to thought I'll oh, use the Holmer um, but actually it's potatoes isn't it how much is that to lease the Grimmy Ferritron whoa 25 grand <laughs> Um, okay, what about trailed potato options? This is going to take a lot longer, but um, potato f technology. I used the Roper Keeler 2 on Ravenport, didn't I? So maybe then we'll use the OC260. Now I did get told. Ah, uh, yeah. See, with that one, that's why I got confused. When I used the Keeler 2, I used the topper first, then that. And somebody said, you don't need to. That tops as well. That's because the Grimmy SE 260 says it digs the potatoes out of the ground. Note, a horn topper is needed prior to using this machine. So I obviously confused the two. Um, so what we'll do then, we'll probably lease those. Yeah, we'll do. I'll worry about that later. So, uh, again, you've seen me fill this up with fertiliser enough times. But what we'll do is let's get um, a couple of bags of fertiliser. Cool. So that can be topped up. And having just used my tablet, I suppose it's probably redundant coming into the shop but it's always nice to say hello come and speak to the helpful welcoming staff uh, so then let's see and the bailing technology let's get the Kuhn FBP 3135 now again we're in that situation where as the game progresses as we move through the two-year cycle of, of playing on the FS19 as more mods come out, you'll find as we get into the latter stages, over the next 6 months, 12 months, 18 months, there'll be new mods out and there'll be various options for doing this. So it will change over time. Unfortunately, at the moment, this is really... I mean, I could do square bales again and I could lease the SW4014, uh, which will wrap the square bales, which I suppose technically I could do. But that's a kind of double handling process, isn't it? Mind you, it'd be cheaper to buy that, wouldn't it? Than buy that. You know what? I'm going to do that. Because I haven't used that in... 19. You know what? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. So, yes, I will buy it. Only downside, because I did think about... Oh, I may have just made a big mistake there. Um, because the actual bale trailers, oh, the auto stack ones, the new ones, um, that one holds 36. If you're going to do silage bales, hauling 36 at a time makes more sense than hauling 24. But I've already got that one, so you know what? No, it works, it works. 
I say it's my it's my out loud thought process is fifty four grand as opposed to seventy six. That's kind of yeah, there's some logic there. <laughs> I think. So what we have to do then? We'll have to use the baler on fifteen. And remember, that's not our baler. We don't own that. That that's from bearded farms. That's on a kind of I don't know. <laughs> they said we could use it like almost like a long term lease. I suppose to be fair, I'm paying for the repairs and all that kind of stuff. So every time it needs repairing, I'm paying for that. Um, but I suppose we should really pay them a lease fee at some point. Um, now, I'm not going to go into huge detail on this at the moment. I've got one contract for 200 bales, one contract for 20 silage bales, I think. I haven't got my laptop to hand at the moment, but I also got another one coming the other day, which is an interesting one. I'll go into more detail on that later on. Because we can also bale field 19. That That's, you know, I just want to go over there because it's a different part of the map I haven't really been to. So, uh, yeah, right. Um, well, I'm not going to use that yet, yet then, because I've got a bale first, and then we'll go over and we'll wrap. So, that may well be in the next episode. I don't know. So, what I'll do then, I'm going to load up the fertilizer. We'll take on the contract on fuel two, because that's right by us. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, accept that contract now. Doesn't pay a huge amount, but that's almost one bag of fertilizer, so kind of covers the cost it won't take a huge amount <laughs> this front loader is way too long for this tractor it should be the smaller one realistically right well what we'll do then I'll get this done I'll get over and I'll finish off baling field 15 and then once that's done we'll get over to the new fields I think If I remember correctly, this is where I put the mowers. It was. I had to think. I couldn't remember. Um, what I'm going to do... Actually, this might not be the best... Oh, it should be right. I'm just thinking whether or not the tractor too wide for the mower, but it should be okay. No, no, we'll be fine. Um, what I'm going to do then is do this slightly differently. I'm going to mow and bale at the same time. Um, so rather than, obviously, if you did the three... Uh, but a mower setup um, where you have the front mower and the twin one that normally goes on the back with the pot and Genova cats you can you can hook them together so you can have your triple mower set up on the front and then baler on the back well I don't have the triple mower so what I'm going to do is just run the single mower with the baler on the back it's going to take me a bit longer let me say that I either no uh, oh yeah because I can't with the triple mower you can't mow and bale at the same time. You can mow and windrow, you can mow and ted, but because the triple mower setup won't give you a single straw swath, you can't bale. So actually this will probably work out about the same sort of time, simply because normally you would have to go over it and then come back and go over it and come back there. Um, bales of wool, we've got three quarters of a bale there, or a pallet, that's not too bad. I do have a contract for 10 pallets. Um, again, I'm going to stop saying it, but I've got a, I've got a contract for £10. Um, details to follow. Um, the fertiliser on field 2 is done. The fertiliser spreader has come over and is waiting here by field 15. Once we clear the bales off field 15, um, then that can fertilise, then that will be cultivated and then that will be repurposed. Um, the baler, unfortunately, has got a little bit left in it. I didn't have enough to make up a full bale. My mass was out. It worked out. I had about, yeah, just over 12,000 litres, about 13 and a bit, which I said it was going to be four bales, but the bales are 4,000 litres. It was three bales. So I've got 66 bales in total on this field, but I've got 1,699.59 left in this. So as soon as I get over and start mowing, the grass that goes in the first bale will be a straw bale. So over to field 13 and 14, if we cut around the side of this field, there is a shortcut. A shortcut that has been 
to say adjusted slightly, amended to suit my needs. The beauty of landscaping, and I'll tell you what, it's an absolute corker. I love the fact you can convert your maps and you can set them to your suit your purpose. And I think that's this idea came to me from the West Coast. There was that brilliant field that had a footpath running across the middle of it. So I thought, well, you know, there's no reason at all why the farm track wouldn't go across the field. Um, so we now do actually have a shortcut from where we are. Let's uh, close the gate. I also took the liberty of... Um, so this field's now been kind of bifurcated by this, uh, this track. So you've got half that side, half that side. Um, I don't own it, um, but it's, uh, it has been adjusted somewhat. What I've also done, around the side of um, 13, isn't it? Yeah. Around the side of 13, I've kind of put in a rough track that didn't exist before, um, round to the gate. Because I thought, if you're going to be going backwards and forwards to the gate here to get into field 14, you're going to have a bit of, you know... Bit of wear and tear, so I kind of added that in as well. I thought it was a nice little, uh, nice little feature, as you do. So what we're going to do then is, and weirdly, bits of this say you don't own it, like tiny little strips. But I'll do what I can. Uh, so we want front now. There we go. Turn it on. Drop it down. Then back. Oh, I'll fold it first. I always forget to unfold the bailer. Turn it on, drop it down. Okay, so we're literally just going to mow and pick up. I don't have access to this land, I think I do. So, I'd say the first one out of this is going to be uh, hay, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. and let's see where I'm going. Don't want to get caught up in the hedge. So I say this, technically, this is slower because I'm doing less grass in each path. The great thing with this is now as well, that because the grass doesn't get killed when you drive over it, I need to do a better turn than that because I've missed some. Um, you can do this a lot easier so yeah whilst I'm mowing less grass at a time it does mean I haven't got to come back over and then windrow it so it swings and roundabouts the time you're saving in automatically bailing without having to windrow you're losing because you're not mowing as much in one go with a double mower front and side or triple mower with front and butterfly you can obviously do a lot more can't you So as you, you can do something about those overhanging tree branches. So as you can see, before it drops off the back, our first one out in the back is straw. <laughs> so I'll have to remember that. But it won't let me... Um, why has that missed loads of... That's weird, the pickup hasn't picked up all the grass in there. I'll have to come back and do it. Yeah, it won't let me um, silage wrap a straw bale anyway. So. It's weird how the balers are all different. Some of them the pickup is quite wide, and some of them the pickup is terrible. And it kind of leaves bits behind, which is odd. I think what I need to do is if I turn the bale off, uh, the mower off, and just the bale right off the corner, just pick up the bits I missed from before.
and I found give myself a bit of a headland almost at this end really so what I'll do is avoid mowing the turn here so I can pick up the stuff I'm missing before I go there's Mr. Fairbit and then what we'll do is we'll start a new strip with the mower on with that just stuck the bale through through the hedge okay not going to to plan but there we go that's better So I think what we're going to have to do is the next episode we're going to come back and we're going to wrap these using the square bale, square bale wrapper. In the meantime I need to get all of those straw bales off of field 15. So off camera, off screen, what I'm probably going to do is get those off the field and put over to one side for green energy solutions and what I will also do is fertilise field 15 and possibly cultivate it as well. But that's missing loads, why is that missing so much? That entire strip up there, that's missed. It's not like the straw swaths. I don't understand why it's doing that. That's quite annoying. It hasn't missed too much around there. Oh, I'll sort it out. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we have done a bit more. Um, let's pick on that. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. <laughs> We're getting there. We're in a different part of the map we haven't really been to before, which is quite nice. Nice views out across the countryside, as you expect. What I also like is when you go up to this top end, just before I finish, sorry, um, the detail, if we zoom out, if you look across the countryside, the little village, and buildings and houses with driveways and stuff that you can't get to you can't access but it's there nonetheless and it adds that you know when you look across the countryside it adds that extra dimension to it all it's brilliant love it love it love it anyway like i say hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>